you're excited. Why are you so excited, Beans? Beans. He came, she came running over here. There's Hamilton. Hamilton's coming. How y'all doing today? Thank y'all so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about something that I totally didn't see coming, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. This is from the BBC. Italy's right-wing government has blocked a bill that would ban laboratory processed meat and other synthetic foods, highlighting Italian food heritage and health protection. How dare them? The last time I checked, um, Italy's government wasn't that right-winged, actually. Um, I, I, I know people that are over there right now, and you they're being fined for not taking the, you know, what? They're being fined every month or every year or whatever uh, for not taking that. So, I, I wouldn't quite say that their government is right-wing, but just like um, normal mainstream uh, news, they love to throw out these right-wing government, you know, words. If the proposal goes through, breaking the ban would attract fines up to 60,000 euros. Francisco, who runs the rebranded Ministry for Agriculture and Food Sovereignty, spoke of the importance of Italian's food tradition. The farmers' lobby praised the move. But it was a blow for some animal welfare groups which have highlighted lab made meat as a solution to issues including protecting the environment from carbon emission and food safety. So as you all know here on the farm we are net zero actually since we have trees growing on our farm fruit trees that feed us and our community and lots of other carbon consuming uh, product. Um, we are actually, uh, I think the last time I heard the news speak was we are carbon eaters. I think that's what they said because these very smart geniuses came up with an electric car that just came out and it eats carbon through the mouth of the car or whatever. But you know what eats even, you know what is so incredible about a tree is that you don't have to like go enslave people in other countries for pennies or or not just force them to work uh, by the point of a gun and um, you know the beautiful thing is is that with trees you don't have to do any of that it just you, you kind of just plant them and they procreate and you can cut off a branch and stick it in the ground it's it's pretty carbon neutral and yeah I guess we're carbon eaters here on the farm so we're still waiting for our paychecks from Bill Gates and Elon Musk and other agriculture lobbies have collected half a million signatures in recent months calling for protection of natural food versus synthetic. And Prime Minister Georgia Melanie is among those who have signed. We could only celebrate with our farmers as measure that puts our farmers in the vanguard. Not just on the issue of defending excellence, but also in defending consumers she told a flash mob. The proposed bill came hard on the heels of a series of government decrees banning the use of flour derived from insects such as crickets and locusts in pizza or pasta. Ooh. Whenever I think of Italy, I think of their beautifully um, cultured cricket noodles and also their uh, locust roach pizza it's absolutely delicious uh, highly recommend five star real quick I just wanted to tell you all the best way to support the channel and that is the texasboys.com where we sell unvaccinated unfiltered raw honey from our local bee keepers here in Texas also we have we sell our bulk tea we have our new organic coconut candles. We have amazing organic CBD coffee. And we have our new native mud. And it's absolutely delicious with seven different types of mushrooms in it. And if you are looking for something to drink in the morning or in the evening, 
Uh, I would highly recommend the Native Mud, especially for when you are first waking up in the morning. Uh, you don't get shaky uh, like coffee does um, because there's no caffeine in it, which is good. But if you are a coffee connoisseur like me and you're like, you're crazy, I don't need no mushroom stuff, we also have our own coffee line and we, we get that from our local roaster right here in Texas and they partnered up with some small coffee farmers and it's just win, win, win all the way around. We would love for you to go check out thetexasboys.com, go pick something up and if you already have, just wanted to say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you, thank you, thank you and that's the only way how we keep this channel alive and growing and uh, I'll let y'all get back to the show. The Prime Minister said laboratory products do not guarantee quality, well-being, and the protection of the Italian food and wine culture and tradition to which part of our tradition is linked. The proposals approved by Minister on Tuesday seek to ban synthetic foods produced from animal cells without killing the animal and would apply to lab-produced fish and synthetic milk too. Delicious. That sounds incredible. Last November, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the good old FDA, cleared cell-cultured chicken for human consumption after careful <clears throat> and effective. <clears throat> Singapore gave regulatory approval lab-grown chicken meat to be used in nuggets. Oh, that's so great. I'm, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm packing my bags. I'm going to Singapore. Okay. Actually, I could just go into town and probably ask for some Bill Gates chicken nuggets, but anyway. So far, no approval has been sought from the European, European Food Safety Authority, but within the European consumption has been suggested that cell-based agriculture, such as cultured meat, could be considered as a promising and innovative solution from health and environmentally friendly food systems. As we know, as we know, whatever the government says, it 110% of the time means the direct opposite. So if it's, if they say, this is healthy, eat it. It means it's deadly and it's toxic. You probably shouldn't eat it. And when they're saying it's envir it's it's net zero, it's so great for the environment, actually means we're actually killing the planet twice or 10 times more, um, so there you go. Commentators have pointed out that Italy would not be able to oppose the sale of synthetic meat produced within the European Union when it does gain approval because of the free movement of goods and services, international organizations from for animal protection, stress that the lab processed meat while it came from animal cells was an ethical alternative that did not harm animal welfare, environmental, environmental sustainability, or food safety. Well, there you go, y'all. That is the article for today. And we shall see. Time will only tell what will actually take place with this whole new uh, bill and things like that. That was definitely out of left field, uh, just like, Boom, hey, we all back, you know, we're totally against all this synthetic processed junk. And um, y'all, I think a lot of true blood Americans are definitely against this lab grown garbage. And who in their right mind would ever wanna buy that stuff? And what they're gonna try to do to us beautiful Americans here is make everything illegal so then we can't grow our own food and also they will buy up all the land as they are trying now so then we won't have anywhere to spread our spread out and have homesteads and things like that and uh put us in little uh high rises and then all we will be able to afford because we will all be on government subsidies and we will only be able to afford whatever they tell us, whatever type of disgusting lab-grown meat. So that's where they're pushing us, but hopefully we can push back and y'all, there is beyond way more of us than there are of them. 
we shall see what is gonna come with all this. It's gonna be pretty crazy. The next couple of years are gonna be really crazy. The next decade's gonna be really crazy also. Hold on tight. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. Hopefully y'all liked it. Thank you for letting me take a little chunk of your time today. I know that y'all, you don't got a lot of it. You only got 24 hours, but um, thank you so much for just taking some time out of your day and watching this video. So hopefully y'all will have a blessed rest of your day and uh, see y'all later. Bye-bye.